all right guys welcome back so uh really nice day out nice and warm uh not too hot though so if you caught last week's video i uh, went to some waterfalls and that got me to wanting in a river somewhere so i don't think it's actually quite warm enough to get like in the water i don't even know the date i never do may 27th somewhere in there so it's not like super hot in west virginia yet we've had a pretty mildish spring i guess i don't know we've had a few hot days but water's gonna be cold especially in a river uh, especially where we're going so anyways i've had a few people that i know like personally say you always have some kind of nonsense going on there's always something interesting happening some something so you need to incorporate almost lost that one there a little more of your like regular life into your videos so that's going to be a, just a touch up today um the reason behind that is i have a truck for sale and a guy i know is buying it so he said deliver it so I'm gonna run it up there and then there's actually a pretty decent camping spot along the river not far from where I'm gonna be anyway so go up get rid of a truck make a little money go do some camping cook some good food take you guys along for the ride see how you guys like a uh, little other activities in my videos I'm not gonna make it all drawn out it's not gonna be 15 minutes of me hauling and delivering a truck don't get me wrong but I'll give you a little glimpse and we'll get to camp and see if I can't talk myself into getting in the water and freezing to death today. Oh, hot. Hot. No key. No key. Too hot. forget the food cooler I don't need that I think that's it I think we're ready to roll So we're officially on our way. Ranger seems to be strapped down tight enough. Um, for anybody that is wondering or cares, that is a 1999 Ford Ranger. It has the 3.0 six cylinder and automatic transmission, four wheel drive. I gave $250 for it and it ran and drove, needed a little work, mostly the bed. So I found a bed for 100 bucks and slapped that on there. If you've seen it in the background of any of my other videos or just from today, not the same color. Definitely a whole different shade of gold, but don't care. So I kind of hope to get a while out of it, but the other day I was driving it and the head gasket decided that uh, it was going to just exit. So not worth fixing to me, but like I say, I have a dude that I know that wants it. He has another one, so... I don't know if he's gonna 
take two, make one. But yeah, that's kind of the story behind that. So I'm gonna get up here and get that delivered. Still have to make a gas station and a grocery store stop, but I only have one thing I believe to get from the grocery store, so it should be a pretty fast trip. So should make fairly decent time. I hope, as long as the Ranger doesn't fall off. I don't know. Uh, this thing should give me no issues. I've actually hauled a pretty good bit with this. It tows pretty well. Uh, for any of you that didn't know, it's a 2003 Suburban. Um, it has the same suspension and differentials that my truck has, I, I believe. If they're not the same, they look really similar. And my truck is a 2500 HD. This is definitely a 2500, uh, eight lug, three quarter ton, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it looks the same underneath. So I don't know if this is actually considered a 2500 HD or not. I don't know if they even made a Suburban in like a 2500 HD. But yeah, it tows really well. 8.1, big block, plenty of power. Uh, 4L80 transmission. If you know anything about those, those are the pretty good transmissions. So I don't foresee any problems out of this thing on the trip. I mean, it's a Ford Ranger. It's not, I'm not hauling a skid steer or something crazy. So yeah, should be no issues. So I'm going to stop at the same gas station and grocery store that he lives in where I'm taking the truck. So it should all be one quick stop on the camp. Grocery store time. I guess somebody somewhere does sell just one chicken breast. All right. Well, the Ranger has been dropped trailer is unhooked and can't tell but that's kind of sloped so I got the ramps out I don't know if that's enough but got a pretty solid place sandy region the rocks around here are huge a pretty solid view of the river Nice and quiet and peaceful. Oh yeah. That's the ticket right there. I don't care what happened. I was not, not, not camping in a campground this time. So, it does not get much more primitive than this. There's already a fire pit here. I've seen people camp here before. I don't know that I ever have, but fire pit's kind of small. But, um, of course, like everything I do, the whole uh, ranger situation took way longer than it should have. So, as you can tell, it's getting a little later in the evening. Um, I don't think dinner's gonna take all that long. So, I'm gonna get a fire started and Get dinner going. All right. Shouldn't take real long to get a fire going, I don't think. Everything's pretty dry. The sticks. That'll take off. I'm gonna give it a minute. Well, got a pretty good little base fire going anyways. Got like a little built-in seat. Running pretty good.
It's that time again. New beer review. I'm gonna try to edit something in there later, but that's gonna look terrible. Sierra Nevada, Summerfest. Refreshing summer lager. Thought it was kind of fitting since it's getting pretty nice and warm out. 5%, so nothing too crazy. Some of the ones I've looked at in gas stations are like eight, almost nine. I don't think I need to go that crazy right off the bat. I can see refreshing. Has like a real light first hit. Not too shabby. I've tried other Sierra Nevadas, but I've not been like a huge fan, I'll say. Not bad. Not like a real bad aftertaste. Except being a summer beer. That'll be alright. Also, I thought I'd have me some flaming Hot Cheetos. I haven't had those in a while. Better come down and sit by the water, have a little snack. That fire's burning down pretty good, actually. I think it'll be ready to cook on sooner than later, but... Yeah. Look at that, like... How could you just not like sitting by a river? Mm-hmm. That's a solid snack right there. For anybody wondering, this is the Tigert River. It's in Barber County. You guys have definitely seen me in this county before and on this river, but not right here. Last time I was here, I was way up that way. But this is a really nice river all the way down. I like it because it's like mostly rock bottom. It's nice for swimming. Lounging, soaking, whatever you do. I don't really swim. I just like to sit in it and cool off. But Yeah, I don't like the muddy bottomed rivers. Well, I think I better go check on my fire. <clears throat> Hopefully it's kind of burned down enough to maybe start cooking some dinner. I know I said I was getting in that water, but it's cold. I mean, I don't know. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was originally. Hmm. I don't know, it's still gonna be cold. But that feels nice. Maybe I'm getting in it. I don't know yet. All right, let's go check on this fire. Cheetos hit the spot, those are really good, but I think I'm ready for some dinner maybe. So there's definitely a lot of coals in there because it's been burning for over an hour. That water still will not boil. Anybody ever seen water that won't boil? Because I never have. Still a fire, still heat, no boil. It's been going for Two and a half hours. Full blown dark. This water will not boil. I don't know what it is, but it just won't. Well, dinner was a fail. 
I've never put water on top of an open fire and it's just not boiled. I mean, I didn't know that was a thing. I just figured if you put water on a fire, it would boil. Nope. Hmm. News to me. I mean, it was a full blown fire. Just flames, heat. Wouldn't boil the water. I've never seen water that would not boil over fire. I think I put it on the fire at like, I don't even think it was seven. Like 10 till seven maybe. And I just kept adding wood and stoking it up until I think it was like 9.45. I mean, I guess it's a good thing I got these flaming hot Cheetos because uh, that's my dinner. I'll be ready for breakfast in the morning. I think that water came from like 7 Eleven. It was like a gas station, like case of water. Like after that whole time being on the fire, I could take my hand and put it in the water. Like, it wasn't even so hot that I couldn't touch it. Flaming hot Cheetos to the rescue. That's a pitiful dinner. That's a real pitiful dinner. So, anyway. I never thought I'd make a video where I'm eating flaming hot Cheetos for dinner, but... Oh, anyways, I got a few crumbs left in there, so then we'll go ahead and finish off my dinner. I guess try to soak that fire back up and uh, hang out a little bit and listen to the river. Well, good morning, everyone. As you can probably imagine, I'm pretty hungry. Some hot Cheetos for dinner doesn't really fill me up too much. Still uh, in like disbelief. I mean, I don't understand how water doesn't boil on a fire. I don't know. It's like two hours on a fire. Like, it, I mean, I don't even think it would have slow cooked the noodles, would it? Like, it couldn't be good just sitting in like barely warm water. It never even got too hot to touch. Like I could dip my fingers in the water and not burn me. Well, uh, don't know, but do got a new coffee to try. I don't think I like salted caramel normally, but I'm not really sure why I bought it, but. Fair, give it a try anyways. I was down to try something different. Yeah, yeah, I still don't like it too much. I haven't tried anything salted caramel in years, so. Thought I'd give it a shot. So yeah. Yeah, sorry to disappoint anyone that you know looks forward to me cooking because I've had people say that they like to watch that, but I don't know. I can't just I don't know what else to do to make water boil other than a fire, so yeah. I'm as disappointed as you are, I promise. 
Because I was going to try, uh, yeah, I didn't even tell you what I was even going to make. Um, chicken pesto pasta. Because uh, I don't believe I've ever had pesto pasta, I don't think. So, yeah, looking forward to trying something new. Which, I mean, I don't... My whole channel is more of a review channel than a camping channel, usually. Because I'm always trying new hot sauces and coffees and drinks and foods and whatever. But I know some of you like to see that, so... I like to mix it up a little and try different stuff every time. So, yeah, that would have been probably pretty tasty. So, I'm definitely going to go uh, probably get some breakfast. Which I don't normally do. You guys know that. But would like to start cooking some breakfast on the channel maybe still had a good time still really nice view of the river yeah definitely a nice spot so yeah that's, that's pretty much it I'm not going to bore you guys with anything else Got to go uh, get everything packed up and go rehook the trailer. I chewed up by a mosquito. That's fun. Got way too hot in there this morning. Should have gotten that water. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Wasn't a campground this time. And I am glad I made this choice. Because I could sit here all day, for sure. Well, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up and get out of here and go see if I can't edit this mess. Oh, that's way too close to my face. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.